Well guys, I'm out here to find a buck that I have nicknamed Heart Failure. Back in 2014, towards 2015, when I was diagnosed with heart failure. And then I didn't see him again until I went in for heart failure in 2017. I thought he was taken, but he's still here. And today, there's snow up there. That's going to be cool. So we're going to make the hike up. And uh, we'll see if we make it to the snow. i got a limited time. We're going to try to go put some cameras up. We really want to get him on camera this year. Uh, I have him on camera one year with antlers. And then another year without antlers. But this year I want to try to get him a really good photo of him. So I brought up three trail cameras to go up there to set him up, see if I could get him. And I've been chasing this buck since 2014. So hopefully I get him this year. And you guys know me, the season's never over. So I'm always packing the gun. And I'm packing the gun. My main purpose is to get up there, put up my cameras. Give my buck. Bear crap. That's new. I've never seen bear crap here. I'm gonna stand these tracks because of the rain. Should not be here unless they're moving after the rain, which it's still kind of sprinkling right now. So it's a good chance. All right. That's even better. The pit crap. Kind of why I brought the gun. That's what I want to see. That's a bigger buck track right there. So finding what we're looking for and we're that uh, that's a good chance that's the buck I'm after right there. It's just three deer, so I don't know. Not the group of deer that he's usually with. Anyway, so those bucks, oh, those deer were just here. They were bedded here. I thought they were bedded or they were feeding. Good chance they were bedded. They were in this little drawer here. I don't want to take off for them. But we, that, there was no, I think the other one might have been a buck, but there was a buck walking this very trail with those deer, so. We'll keep going up. That 
need coils. Don't need coils. Oh wow. Okay, sure. Anyways guys, the year they told me I might have heart failure. And I took a shot and I missed. Two years later, I see him again. And I haven't gotten to take a shot at him since 2014. So I've been chasing him and I was recording him. And then come 2019, this very hill that I just bumped these, these deers, I see him again. There he is, just hanging out with this big same group of deer, except he's got four of the bucks to him. And I end up shooting one of the four keys that's with him in 21, last year. 2020 season was closed, this section was closed, so I don't want to come here. Like, I didn't come here at all because of the fire. Same thing with 19, 19 was closed. But I was here in the spring of 19 when I found when I first found him again, so. Yeah. Here's 2022. We're gonna try to find him. And this year, I'm ready for him. I know his path, I know his routine. I even know where he lives. I seen, I seen where he bedded three times but he goes into the very top of this hill there's a big old patch of oak trees he climbs in there and he beds in there and he doesn't come back out literally for the rest of the day so this year I brought out extra cameras not just one I got three I get to the top I put up the cameras where I know he passes Especially that ridge that I, I got him on camera last year. And hopefully this year I pattern him and he ends up on my wall. So that's the story to this buck. The story to why I call him heart failure. Because so far in person, during hunting season, I've only seen him on the years that heart failure was mentioned. This is the buck scooper here. He's here somewhere. I just don't know where he's at. Yeah, that's his group of deer right there. Oh yeah, they're way over there. See them? Yeah. Yep. You guys see this hill? It's the first time I saw that buck where he was over there at that hill. It's the first time I shot and missed at him too. So just like I said, it, this is his home range. He's gonna be here. He's not going anywhere. Hopefully I catch him during his antler years. All right, so he might still be here. His flock of does is still here. It's the same group that we saw years and years before. Talk on. So, always double check your camera view, the angle. I don't have an angle wrong. It's good for taking the shot right here, but not so much for when it's further away. So. Easy fix, you pick up a stick, break it off, get the little piece, stick it behind it. And there you go. Now it's set. And like I always say, you turn it on. It says on, but you never really want to just trust it saying on. 
always make the camera trigger. Flip off to the side. And it'll come back on. Trigger. Now you know for sure, 100%, it's recording. So you don't come back to an empty SD card, which I've done a couple times. I've got this shooting that way, this angle, and it's basically shooting this thing. So if any butt comes through, walking in and out, hopefully, I get him. I'm running out of time, but I still have two more cameras to set, and I kind of want to set them. <laughs> So, you probably can't see, but there's a trail right here. And I'm gonna set one camera right here. And hopefully, I get some cool footage of the buck walking in and out. What about bite nose? No, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Scared myself. So I got a stock cam out. It's a wild game, innovative. Brought to you by yours truly, Joe from Oklahoma. Oh, actually, this is a Moultrie. Okay. I have no idea what's on, but it's on. One more camera, and then we're all set. We actually can set it on the way down. Because I have a spot I want to put it up at. Sometimes you got to make your own stick to put it up. This trail has nothing for me to set it on. And I got, we got to... Start making the way back because it's past 11 and I work at 2. So the original plan was only to be here till 11. But then we ended up seeing the deers. Got sidetracked. I really hope I got some good footage of the deer. Thing about having a tripod or a monopod is that you really don't have a good shot because it just didn't work out. Oh wow, I definitely bumped a pig because there's fresh pig poop right here too. So whatever, let's go. Huh? Where? So we're, it's kind of, the reason we're not seeing them is because this grass is just too high. It's thick. And it's high, so. I've always wanted to sit on this tree. Never had cameras in I'm up here. Actually, I lied. When I shot my deer, I came to this tree. And I looked at this tree and I was like, I need to put a camera here. But I didn't do it. Well, I'm here today with the cameras. And I'm going to do it. behind us. The peach behind us is as pretty as ever. Had a great time today setting up cameras. We bumped a pig because we were too busy chasing a group of deers. I don't know. You guys might be camera uh, might be uh, watered out because my camera is covered in water right now. <laughs> so uh, just want to let you guys know about the little fun that we're having. So yeah. Hope you guys are having a good time out there. It's almost turkey season, guys. Almost turkey season. All right, guys. I'm gonna have to cut the video off here. It's raining kind of hard. My camera's getting wet and it shut off on it twice. That means that it's too wet. As you guys can see behind me, it's it's raining. Everywhere around, it's raining. I'm getting the lens is getting wet. Uh, when my camera shuts off on me again. 
uh, look forward to seeing where I get on these cameras. I'm gonna leave it up for the rest of the season until probably um, July, April, July, around there. I'll come back up and just do a quick check on it. As you guys can see, there's a clear trail. This is the deer trail that they always take. I got all three positions covered so that if the bucks are coming across, I'm gonna catch them. Oh. I got more big crap right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little scout mission for this buck. Uh, tag along with me. Who knows? Maybe I'll put him down this year. So yeah, peace out. Have a good day. See you on the next video. You want to say anything, buddy? It's all good to come back to this mountainside. <laughs> Got a good hike up. You know, we can't even make it to the top where we, we want to go, but <laughs> hey, oh well. It's a good workout, though. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, with that, peace out, guys.